This underwater trove of colourful reefs serve as refuge and habitat to some of the most diverse marine species on the planet. Australia's Great Barrier Reef boasts one third of the world's coral population, but it's under threat and so too is a wildlife that relies on it. The Eastern Pacific Ocean is heating up fast. Since the mid-90s, this has caused the death of half of the reef and has led to UN officials recommending it to be placed on a list of World Heritage Sites considered in danger. But the Australian government isn't happy about it. Countries, including European countries, have got strong views about what policies different countries should have on climate change. And I understand that as well. But this is not the convention in which to have those conversations. Last year, the reef recorded its highest sea surface temperature since records began in 1900. When the ocean heats up, corals expel algae that causes them to bleach. Only the most resilient survive. UNESCO has called for the in danger listing to be adopted at its next World Heritage Committee meeting. But it's the second time that it's tried to add it to the list. Six years ago, the Australian government lobbied the 21 country committee to drop the listing. It said UNESCO didn't consider the billions of dollars it contributed towards the reef's protection. But some experts say Australia is resisting a commitment to the net zero carbon emissions level by 2050 and that its over-reliance on fossil fuels may be contributing to climate change. That means making very definite decisions on climate change, um, not heading towards supporting the fossil fuel industry in this country and opening new coal mines, new gas developments. Uh, none of those things are going to help climate change, but also uh, taking as much action as we possibly can on improving water quality for the Great Barrier Reef. 3,000 separate reefs and 900 islands make up the Great Barrier Reef. But with 50% of the reef already gone, many question whether UNESCO's move will make much difference. Laura Bird Manley, Al Jazeera.